Hello and welcome. Are you ready for some striper fishing? Oh, yeah! Slice that thing! Oh, yeah! Woo! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's July 2019 and we're in Newburyport, Massachusetts doing some striper fishing. Today we're fishing with Schools Out Fishing Charters with Captain Matt and we're aboard the Adria J and I'll bet you there's a whole lot of very nice fishing boats out of Newburyport for striper fishing but I'll tell you what the Adria J has to be one of the nicest. This boat is terrific. So here we are, we just left the docks in Newburyport and uh, we're headed through the harbor, headed uh, out to open water. One of the really nice things about fishing in this area is the fishing grounds are close. You know, I fish a lot in Texas and when we go off the Texas Gulf Coast, it might be two or three hours before you can even start fishing. Well, from here, uh, you know, we're gonna be fishing along Plum Island, which is Probably that piece of land you can see off to the left there. Uh, as we're heading out of the harbor, you can see that there's a strong incoming tide. So there's a lot of current, which creates a lot of rip. Our first stop, we go and pick up some uh, mackerel for bait. Unfortunately, I didn't get any video of that. But uh, after that, we head off and go do some serious striper fishing. Before we get started, let me introduce everybody. Uh, Anthony, the deckhand. He made sure that uh, everybody had bait on their hooks and all the fish were netted and brought on board. Captain Matt is the owner operator and he runs this operation from his perch high above in the flybridge on the boat. Um, apparently he is a veteran fisherman of this area. He absolutely knows what he's doing. So from left to right, there's my wife, Jessica. There's Steven and his dad, David, who happens to be a veteran with my father of these uh, striper fishing trips. So I don't know if you guys have seen my other fishing videos, but uh, my wife, Jessica, has been introduced in some of these, let's say, let's say dragged into these fishing trips. But two weeks after this one, we were in Jamaica and she was on the team that actually caught a couple of blue marlins. So there's my dad, Frank, and he tells me that him and David have been doing these annual striper fishing trips all over Massachusetts and Cape Cod area since before I was even born. That's my uncle Arthur. He's a veteran fisherman as well. I remember many times him taking me and my younger brother out fishing uh, when we were in Cape Cod. And finally, there's me trying to figure out how to catch fish and catch video at the same time. <laughs> so after we loaded up on bait, caught a bunch of little mackerel, we head over to Plum Island. Plum Island's about 11 miles long and I'm not sure where we were, but somewhere along the coast of Plum Island is where we were fishing. And the first thing we do when we get there is uh, get some advice from some folks that beat us there and apparently they did pretty good, so uh, we're probably going to catch some fish as well. You can't really see it very well, but there are black clouds of bait fish. They're manhating all over the place. We can see them, uh, like I said, as a black cloud. We're, what we're trying to do is throw Great. our live bait. We have uh, the mackerel throw the live bait over close to those schools and underneath the schools are where the stripers are. They're down there uh, they feasting on right the bait fish. The locals right, are right calling the uh, the bait right fish, the manhaden, they call them bunker or pogies. And uh, I'm up front. Uh, snagging some and uh, trying to throw them back out there and finally I hear that there's a big fish on at the back of the boat so I run back there to watch and see what I can see. Uh, 
I'm gonna... Oh, yeah! Get it! Keep, keep it keep it tight, babe. Don't let loose. There you go. Keep it smooth. There's a big fish on my line. You got... Up yeah, on you, babe. Real down on it. Good. There you go. Well, as it turns out, this was the biggest fish of the day. So Jessica won the big fish pot. Um, it's a 36 inch striper. I think she went almost 20 pounds total. And I didn't mention it to her at the time, but I had planned on getting that fish mounted so she could have something to hang on the wall to remember this trip. Stick around to the end of the video. And uh, I have some pictures of her getting her striper mount back uh, Christmas time, 2019. Well, that afternoon, fishing along Plum Island was a little bit slow, so Captain decided to pack it up and head over All by right. the jetty. By that time, there was a strong out, uh, outward current, so we were doing some All drift right. fishing over by the jetties, and it was pretty much nonstop for the rest of the afternoon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and pull up because it's going underneath the boat. 
Hold that right there so we get this fish out of the way. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I have a good feeling on that one. Oh, look, he, he looks lively. Is he hooked? Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. Yeah, there's, there's more. Yeah. So there you go. What? Where'd he go? Let let go is not the term we use. Oh yeah. Bending a pole right there. Well, that's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like hunting videos, fishing videos, family videos in general, maybe even cooking, I encourage you to go check out my other videos on YouTube. And uh, you might also consider subscribing so you can see it when I put new content up there. Um, if you happen to be in Newburyport, want to do some striper fishing, look up schools out. Those guys are great. Um, had a really good time. I hope to go back and spend more time with them here in the future. I did mention that uh, I was going to get a mount made for Jessica. A Christmas time 2019, I surprised her with a mount. Nice thing is, with a five pound mount, it uh, you can hold it out further in front of you, so it looks even bigger than it did when you were holding it on the boat. Today this fish sits above the entryway. Um, when you're going out the front door of my house, it's one of the last things that you see and a reminder of a great trip, a great memory, such a good time that we had with family and friends. Thanks again for watching and uh, come back and watch some more of my videos.